guys, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Oksana and today we are going to make a shepherd pie. Well, traditional shepherd pie usually is made with ground beef and regular potatoes. But today we are going to make a traditional shepherd pie. And we will make it with ground turkey and yams instead of potatoes. So let's get started. For the pie you will need a pound of ground turkey three big baked yams. All I did is wrap the yams in the foil and bake them in the oven at 400 degrees for about an hour or until they became tender. But if for some reason you don't want to have your oven uh, on for so long and you can't wait the whole hour, you can also uh, peel the yams, cut them into pieces and boil them on your stove in the water uh, for about 15 minutes or until they become tender. We will also need about a cup of diced mushrooms, half of the cup of diced carrots and half of the cup of diced bell peppers, about one third of the cup uh, of diced uh, celery and one third of the cup of diced onions. And also I will use the two gloves of garlic. It also will be nice to add some tomatoes. Here is about one small tomato diced. Also some uh, corn and some uh, peas, about one third of the cup each. And don't worry if you don't have some of those vegetables available in your fridge or for some reason you don't like some of them. You can always uh, make a different combinations of them. But I like to load my food with loads of vegetables. We will also need some coconut oil for sautéing uh, meat and vegetables. And I've been using coconut oil more often these days because uh, I read that it has a higher burning point uh, than, for example, olive oil, which I used before. And it's really good for you, so I'm using coconut oil a lot for cooking. Also, we will need a little bit of soy sauce, Dijon mustard, some salt, and your favorite seasonings. I'm using my favorite seasonings, uh, which is 21 seasoning Sadote from Trader Joe and everyday seasoning. But you can actually experiment with those. You can use your favorite one. Now it's time for cooking. I have a big skillet right here and I'm gonna turn my gas on and add some coconut butter, coconut oil to the pan. And we will start with turkey meat. Once coconut oil melted and warmed up, I'm going to add ground turkey to the skillet. And actually my ground turkey is a little bit frozen, but it's not a big deal. We're just going to break it down. you have a little bit of time to deal with yams but just watch that meat so it doesn't burn all I did is to peel the skin of the yams or if you cook them in the pot you don't have to even peel the skin and I will be processing them with my Vitamix but you can use any food processor or you can even use a device like this which you use to mash potatoes also a lot of recipes are calling for some butter or buttermilk or some other fat but I don't think we need it I think Yams will become creamy enough without all this stuff, but if you want you can add some. You can also add some salt and pepper. I usually don't. So let's do this. As you can see I got some nice and creamy yams. And you will have to cook turkey meat till it changes his, its color from this pink to this kind of grayish beige color. And don't forget to mix it from time to time so it doesn't burn. It's almost done, maybe just a few minutes. At the end I like to add just a little bit, maybe like half spoon of Dijon mustard. Just drizzle it a little bit with soy sauce and a little bit of salt and a little bit of seasoning. 
You can always add more a, a little bit later when you add turkey to the vegetables. You will just taste it and then you will see if it needs some more seasoning. But I like to add a little bit to the turkey itself. All right, it's pretty much done. Let's mix it well again to incorporate the seasoning. Okay, our turkey is pretty much done. We turn off the heat and make sure you don't cook it too long because when you cook it too long, it becomes dry. So now we will transfer it on the plate and then we will saute our vegetables. Turn on the heat again. Add some coconut oil. And first I will be adding onions because I don't like crunchy onions in my food and I want to make sure that they are soft. So I usually add them first. Just about one minute. Then I will add some garlic, just press some garlic in, right here, okay. just some more garlic. I like to saute on the high heat and just mix everything up. And then I will add all the other vegetables, celery, bell pepper, carrots and mushrooms. If you saute in everything in the high heat, you have to constantly mix it because it's going to burn. I will saute vegetables for about two minutes. You don't have to saute them to death because they will go in the oven for about 20 minutes afterwards. So they will keep on cooking in the oven. And now we will add some peas and some corn. If it will be completely frozen, you will need to cook it a little longer, but because it was out, it's not really frozen no more. And some tomatoes at the end. And just mix it like just a few seconds. Mix it in. And add your turkey. And now, time to mix everything together. You actually can even turn the heat off at this point. Now it's also a good idea to taste it and see if it needs some more seasoning. Hmm. And I think it does a little bit more. It needs a little more seasoning and a little bit more salt. And maybe just a dab of soy sauce. And mix it well again. Now when we have our meat and our uh, yams ready, it's time to combine them together. But don't forget to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And we will be putting them in the glass dishes because they will go in the oven. And you can use one big glass dish. I prefer to use just a whole bunch of small ones. First we will transfer turkey in the glass dishes. And then we will top the turkey with the yams. And just spread it around. And just even everything out with a spoon nicely. You can also top it with some cheese, but no cheese for me today. I think it tastes pretty good without cheese too. And now it's time to set it all in the oven for about 15-20 minutes. Finally our shepherd pies with ground turkey and yams are ready and I can wait to try it. If you enjoyed this recipe you can find it in a written form at ucgym.com which is 
social network for fitness lovers where you can find some great fitness tips, cooking tips, healthy eating and make some friends with the same interests. And I see you next time. Bye bye.